Uh, southern parts, temperatures still up into the mid to the high 20s. Bye-bye. Hello there, this is Business Live from BBC News with Alice Baxter and Sally Bundock. President Trump vows to combat predatory investment amid growing concern about China's acquisition of foreign technology. It's live from London, that's our top story on Thursday the 28th of June. The march of the Yuan amid growing concerns that China is buying up sensitive American technology. The US has said it will cut back on foreign investments. But Apple and Samsung settled their differences as the seven-year-long patent dispute over the design of their rival smartphones finally comes to an end. Plus, European shares open down as Chinese markets. They're also on course for their worst monthly performance in years amid trade tensions with the US. And time for a change. We'll be getting the inside track on the world of luxury watches with one of the top Swiss watch makers, Vacheron Constantin, be in the studio. And with Germany now out of the World Cup, it's been revealed that UBS and Comets Bank predicted that Germany would win the tournament again. So have you placed a flutter and lost out? And what is the use of sports predictions anyway? Just get in touch. Use the hashtag BBCBizLive. very warm welcome to the program great to have you with us now we start in the US where President Trump has said that he supports tougher restrictions on foreign investment amid growing thank you Good that's you. business Good live for another you. day yeah thanks for all your comments it's always great to hear from you we're back tomorrow so we'll see you very soon yeah. lovely to have you with us Hello there. The weather forecast may come as no surprise at the moment. Yesterday was another hot and sunny day. Temperatures got up to 32 degrees Celsius in Porth Maddock in North Wales, but widely uh, into the high 20s. In fact, Northern Ireland and Scotland both exceeded 30 degrees Celsius. Today it's going to be another.